Dear friends and colleagues, welcome back to the Essential of Digital Dentistry. Welcome back to the Mangano Digital Academy. In this uh, short lecture, we will talk about the laser sintering, the laser sinterization as an option for uh, printing, in this case, custom made implants. Uh, digital dentistry is all about, um, of course, um, data acquisition, elaboration, production, and clinical application. We know this very well from the previous lectures. We have a scan phase in which we acquire all the data of our patient through combined computer tomography, intraoral, desktop, face scanner, digital condylography. So we go from real to virtual. Then we shift to the data elaboration inside different kinds of software, surgical software, um, orthodontic software, prostodontic software. Usually we call this software computer assisted design. So this is the CAD phase. Then we go to the uh, production, the make and uh, we go back to real because we, we shift from virtual to real thanks to computer assisted manufacturing software and machine like milling unit, 3D printer and SLS, SLM units like in this case and then we can go to the clinical application. In, in this case we will talk about custom made superior sterile titanium implants. What, what, uh, one to, what, what we can do with these implants? Uh, it's, it's really interesting because we, <coughs> we made a research in, in the PubMed in the last five years. We have seen that uh, using these uh, uh, keywords, we found only a very few studies on this topic because this topic is considered still niche. Um, the additive manufacturing of customized superosteal implants is anyway an option, particularly in the elderly patient. Patients who have already underwent several uh, treatment, reconstructive bone treatment, and this treatment unfortunately had failed. So this patient don't want uh, to undergo any more any reconstructive bone surgery, and they want any way to be um, restored with fixed, I mean, uh, implant supported uh, uh, prosthesis. How to do this? Uh, the, the possibility is to, to use subperiosteal implants. And uh, this is a, a list of the recent literature on, on the topic in the last years. And uh, of course, subperiosteal implants existed a long time ago. They were abandoned, of course, because of the difficult to, to difficulty to use these implants. But now with the digital dentistry, they are coming back as a non-conventional solution for treating uh, elderly patients who, uh, who, who do not want to undergo uh, any regener regenerative bone procedure. And uh, this is a case uh, published in this uh, case series uh, in 3D printing in medicine uh, in 2020. We have a patient, uh, an old patient with a, um, a posterior mandible that need to be restored with, uh, with uh, implants and uh, with uh, fixed uh, implant support restoration. The patient had already uh, tried uh, to, to, um, to reconstruct the bone, uh, but the, the, the procedure failed, and so we have this option, uh, the option of this custom-made superiosteal implant. So the patient undergo a combined computer tomography, and then uh, we can capture an intraoral scan. We can combine all this data together, and then it is possible to uh, design inside computer-assisted design software uh, the superiosteal implant. It's a custom-made implant with two integral abutments. It's quite easy to, to design this kind of implants uh, now in different kinds of software, including mesh mixer. And I have to say that it's even uh, faster now because we have artificial intelligence helping us in the, in the creation of the virtual patient. So we can simply upload all data inside one of these software for artificial intelligence, for example, ReLU or um, uh, in this case uh, it, it, it can be feasible but for the bone alone it can be feasible also Dianyocat and with this software you immediately after 10-15 minutes after you have uploaded all the data you receive back the complete segmentation of all the elements, key elements of the patient. So the mandible in this case every single uh, tooth uh, including crown and uh, root fused properly and aligned properly and obviously the um, uh, inferior alveolar nerve, uh, so everything basically. And we can conveniently design on this uh, segmented model uh, without the need uh, to, to, to perform any manual segmentation. Obviously, uh, if we don't use artificial intelligence, then you, we need to segment the bone 
manually and it's quite more tricky and it's also dangerous because uh, human beings can commit error in this but uh, if the segmentation is properly done there's no doubt that we can design perfectly fitting implants like in this case the Uxta 3D from BTK this Italian company from, from Veneto and they, they work very well that they, basically you have to send to them the combing of the tomopo and the intraoral scan and they send back to you the complete project and so the, 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 um, there are some um, of course fix, fixation screws not too many in this case because it's a partial case and thanks to laser sintering, laser melting we can fabricate our own customized implant with the integral abutment and this implant is basically ready for, 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 the, for the surgery to be placed. And this is the surgery. Usually uh, for the preparation of the flap uh, and for the preparation of the, the holes for the fixation screws, uh, we use a replica. So not exactly the implant itself in titanium, but a replica in different material, of course. And after we have prepared the side, we, after we have mobilized the flap um, in the proper way, then we can place the implant and everything is quite fast. Uh, because uh, the, the proper fitting is granted by the customized approach so you can place the implant you can fix the, the, the you can screw the retention screw two three screw no more is needed in this case then you can make your, your own suture and eventually you can proceed with the immediate loading it's not the case but it was uh, early loading in this case and uh, everything worked quite well and we have a series of cases published in the 3d printing of medicine in uh, this case with the customized implants by BTK <clears throat> and they work very well I have to say in this particular category of patients uh, who uh, need prosthetic rehabilitation particularly in the posterior mandible but not only also in the maxilla and they don't want to undergo any regenerative bone procedure uh, because they don't have money because they don't have time because previously another procedure or other procedure failed so they don't trust this procedure anymore they want a fast treatment and they want uh, to restore the function as soon as possible with a minimal in financial investment and it worked quite well and obviously everything worked digital including the restoration the, the final restoration are, are designed in, inside a computer assisted design software like Exocad and then they can be uh, milled of course or printed in different material depending on what we want to do a metal ceramic or um, in this case uh, um, we can use monolithic there are different options really uh, and uh, everything works very well in this case so this is a representation of the implant the implant has been controlled for a period of one two three years they are still working they are in function aesthetically they are quite pleasing particularly in the case of uh, monolithic zirconia restoration that grant a better integration of the soft tissues a long time so with no recession and this is how we work with this uh, superior implant in this specific category of patients uh, because it is something that it fits very well the needs of the elderly patient thank you very much for your kind attention